Oh, you're back in business, huh? Furrier. Good morning. Morning. Take a look. Trade with you. Oh, you have some. F you don't have much. You don't have any salt piles, I take it, huh? Lots of pelts, though. Snow fox pelt. Yeah, about the the white hood thing. There's apparently, I, I guess, I, there's apparently a mod like Winter is Coming. I think that I don't have that allows you to make the hoods. As it is, I don't have it and I can't make it, so I just have to find a white hood somewhere if I want to wear one. I'll keep my eyes open. Uh, I've gone back through some old LP videos recently, and I've seen in some of them that there are white hoods floating around. I just never grab one. In fact, I think I had one at one point and dropped it in favor of the black hood that I have. So, just have to keep my eyes open, that's all. Okay, let's try to compose ourselves, throw our shoulders back a little bit, walk like we mean business. We're going to see the general. Mara protect us both. Oh, and we don't have anything to, to put to uh, add to our commemoration table, unfortunately. Is that enchanting table when I'm done? Legged Ricca, you're already back. Oh, good, then the general must have heard about our victory. General Tellius. By defeating Ulfric at Whiterun, we have solidified the allegiance of the Jarl. Good to hear. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. Soon? I'm Doubt promoting it. you to Quester. Whoa. Take this blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. Oh, God damn it! I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. Thank you, sir. Uh, what are the orders? You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. Hmm. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater use to me with greater flexibility. Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Ricka will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. And what would you like me to be doing in the field? You'll be doing whatever Ricka tells you to do. I see. And I expect you to find creative ways to disrupt the Stormcloaks along the way. Hmm. Yes, sir. Gods be with you. And you. Whoa! Okay. Um, as I'm sure everyone is aware, the actor that plays General Tully. holding on to Falkreath, we control access to the Reach, White Run, and the Rift. Ulfric will try for it soon. We'll be there to stop him. Oh, boy. Um... The actor that plays General Talius is, of course, Michael Hogan, who is most well known for being the voice the of the Dawn Guard. Uh, like it, Adventus Sisenius? The old fort near Riften. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of oh, time. That maybe he had something specific I could say to him. Uh, both most well known for playing, of course, Colonel Saul Tai in uh, Battlestar Galactica. He's also done uh, voices for Fallout. And for Mass Effect 2 and 3, played uh, Captain Bailey, I think. C-Sec. Did Rika just go? She was here a second ago. Maybe when he tells you to go see her in the pail, she just kind of pops there. Um, and I, like, I really like him as an actor. I think he's good. He was fantastic as Ty in Battlestar Galactica. He was one of my oh, favorite characters, I think. He did a great time. job. Until my affiliation with them. Okay, so discovered. this one we I'll can disenchant. Yes. Thank you. Two cents. And that's it. So these three we can sell. And the the Oh wait, no, glass broadsword of the blaze. This is what he gave us, right? When he, so he said he promoted us to Quester, which is interesting. And he gave us this. So that's apparently the badge of office. Uh, so we probably shouldn't sell it. Probably no enchantments. I don't think I can add any. Yeah. Just thought maybe since I've gotten some more lately, maybe there'd be some there. Um, so let's take a look at Arinder's armor and see if maybe we can use the enchanting table to improve it. I know this is going to look weird, but I'm going to strip him. He's going to be naked room, as the day he was I'll born. Noig, what are you doing? 
Well, I'm not sure this is called for. Well, okay, I'm you're not ready. completely Let's naked. Continue. You still got your your cloak on. Right. Okay, so I do have four soul gems. I could do four items. And that's what I have here. So let's see. What would be good for him? Oh, actually, I have five items. I have his light shield, too. Well, we'll just do... We'll do... Hmm. He resists fire already. Resistance to frost, resistance to shock would be good. So would a fortify stamina. What about... What can I do with gauntlets? Archery and carry weight. Magicka would be good. Two-handed. He doesn't use a two-handed weapon. Gilded armor. Alteration. Conjuration. Destruction. Illusion. Magic regen. Stamina. Hmm. Okay. Helmet. Water breathing. And then a bunch of fortify magics. Okay. Shield? Resistances. Resist magic. Hmm. But only by 8%. Versus elementals, which is 15%. He has fire. So I wonder if I don't... If I could add, let's say... Frost to the boots and shock to the shield. That'd be pretty useful. That would cover him a little bit for all... All, um three elements. Now for gauntlets. Probably fortify magicka. I was a student at the Bard's college. And for a then time. probably the armor too. The helmet was I don't discovered. really care too much. Been this back point. Maybe stamina. Because he still does he does power attacks and stuff with his dagger. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the question is then which ones do I want to use the grand soul gems for and which ones do I want to use the common? Let's do the grand for the resistances, just so we can maximize it. So to resist frost. I got a couple petties too. I guess I could do his, the other one, the, the fifth one with a petty, maybe. We'll see. Alright, and I'm not going to bother renaming it, because we're not going to be shifting it around too much. Yes, chant. Okay, uh, shield, right? That's what I said I was going to use for the other... So did frost, so let's do shock. And the other grand. Should make it a little bit harder to kill, hopefully. The gauntlets... Um, what did I say? Magicka? Seven points. Eh, well, okay. It's something. I'm pretty sure at this point I'm not going to be putting perks into... Um, enchanting because it's just I don't do it very often I don't do it for myself very often um, and uh, at this point the uh, the perk points are so uncommon because I level up so infrequently now uh, that I need to use them for you know I need to make them count I guess and using them in enchanting would kind of be a waste of perks perks okay let's do this now just for the shit of it um, destruction? That is what he uses the most, probably. Nah, the destruction, yeah. 1%. Eh, well, whatever. It still counts. Okay, nice. Alright, Erender, you are kitted out now with a sweeter set of armor than you had before. Where'd you go? Where are you? What the hell? Where? You're walking around in your underwear, man. Just stay close. Mara, protect us both. Running out of room, eh? I'll be glad. Giving to you help. back what you had. Oh, oh, right. Okay. Take that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Woo! I'm ready. Let's continue. Okay, really quick to the alchemy lab. I got some potions I need to make. We're getting all this stuff out of the way right now. I wanted to do it for a little while after this. Restore Magicka. I don't know how many I have. Nope. 
just these four pretty much. Okay, I have a couple. Ooh, I can make a bunch of slow times. Nice. I'm gonna have a ton of them. I need to use them more often, I guess, huh? I was a student at the Bard's College for a short time. Can I mix in? My affiliation with Vermina was discovered. I haven't been back to solitude since. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, everything else does something, right? Restore health. Oh, nice. Then let's do another one. What the hell? Honeycomb. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, Nordic Barnacle. Tried it with everything. Pearl Mountain Flower, don't care. Red Mountain Flower, saving for Magicka, probably. When I finally have something that doesn't ravage as well. Bummer that the th three uh, Magicka ingredients that are easiest to come by are also the ones that also do ravage. In addition, Mara protect us both. I think it's probably about lunchtime. I'm guessing. Um, so yes, as you could tell from that conversation with General Tullius, the dragon, uh, not the dragon, the Civil War overhaul. Um, as I said, I think back in Act Two, just apparently mainly just rebuilds the quests from uh, content that was actually already in the game that uh, Bethesda just left kind of undone. Uh, either because of time constraints or budget or something, but the, the, the dialogue was all there, so the uh, mod maker just kind of went in and, and set up the quests the way that they had kind of been intended to be set up. So um, all that dialogue in there, of course, is voiced by the actual actors, which is really nice. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. How could mere men bring down such a beast? Um, Captain Aldous, I wanted to ask, since I'm now a member of the Legion, uh, is there anything I can help out with with the, your training? I just wanted to make myself useful in as many ways as I can. Their aim could be steadier, but they're battle ready. That's good to hear. Keep my men in your prayers. They'll need them if they don't shape up. Oh, wait, wasn't there Word something the you needed? Of mages is back to normal. No, I guess there's not. such a thing for that lot. I'm supposed to ask about Stay a strong. book, right? Eight willing, Maybe willing. because I turned him down. Or maybe I have to ask about uh, if he's in the Legion, but I already know that, so that doesn't really make sense. Alright, well, I guess he said he doesn't need help, so... There we go. Let's go in the temple really quick, say a nice little prayer. Oh, I really like this song. I think if I go in, it'll stop, but... Oh well. I was just thinking I haven't heard this song all the way through in oh, quite a while in this LP. Mara protect us both. And I really like to hear it all the way through. Heard the gourmets hiding oh, out maybe we will hear it all the way through. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook? Haven't been here since the uh, Potema quest. Not exactly an appropriate song for the temple, but still, I don't mind because I like hearing it. All right, we'll get uh, blessings from our two patrons. I was a student Julianos, of course. For a short God. time, until my affiliation with Vermina was discovered. I haven't been back to solitude since. And Stendar, whose mercy and justice we hoped to uh, remind us of our place. Pound into Ulfric's head. Kingslayer. I get asked uh, in comments more about this song, I think, than any song I have in the playlist. And this one, I don't know where it comes I mean, I know where it comes from. Um, but I can't explain to you guys where, how to get it. Um, I bought my copy of Morrowind off of Steam, and it's the Game of the Year edition, so I don't know what that's worth to you, but 
in the download that I have in their music folder in Morrowind, there is a subfolder in there called, it's just called AM. And I don't know what that means, but there are two songs in it, and one of them is that one. And it's Morrowind not called anything, it's just called like AM01 or AM02 or something like that. And I just threw it in thinking, oh, Morrowind music. I just grabbed it and threw it into the town music. I didn't even really listen to it or care what it was. It's just like, oh, Morrowind, it'll fit fine in the Elder Scrolls games, so there you go. Um, but I don't know what it's called, or uh, presumably it's a Jeremy Sewell composition. But uh, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. And and I've mentioned to people who have asked about it, like, oh yeah, it's in the Morrowind music folder, and they've said, well, I looked, and there's no folder called AM. Just want to see where this goes. Emperor's Tower. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe just my download of the game had that folder as like a bonus or something, but there's not even anything mentioned anywhere in the game. The only reason I found that folder in the first place was um, because I was looking for music to add to other games. And as far as I know, I don't hear that song in, in Morrowind when I play it. Obviously it's not in the, the standard soundtrack, and I'm pretty sure I've never heard it playing the game otherwise. We leveled up! Woo! Oh god, we gotta eat lunch. We're start. Oh my god, it's 4.30. We're not gonna be able to leave for the pale tonight, are we? It's gonna be too late. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Let's just, we're gonna have a seat right here on the wall. This is a nice little spot. And I go kind of dangle her legs over the side. And we'll eat some lunch. We'll level up, and then there's something I want to try. Um... So we'll check it out here in just a second. You guys will get to see what it is I want to do. Tomato. Alright, so level up. A perk, I think, is coming our way. Let's see. Um, probably Magicka. Probably Magicka. Yeah, I'm going to do Magicka. Oh, I get two perks this time. Oh, awesome. That's good. Okay, so one of them, I think, is going to be because we've unlocked another perk in Alteration, which is the second level of Mage Armor. Protection spells like Stone Flesh will be three times as strong if not wearing armor. Um, what else do we have up here? There's the uh, Staves one. Stability Alteration spells last 25% longer. I haven't had a problem with them not lasting long enough. And I've already got double duration for the, the mage armor spells, which is my primary use of alteration. So I'll probably take that one, the the um, uh, additional protection one. Conjuration, I haven't unlocked anything useful yet. I want to get this one, but I have to get to level 65. I want to get uh, this one, but I have to get to level 75. Ancient Rites is... Oh! Two Lesser Daedra. Oh, that's, I think, critical, actually. That might be the other one I take, but let me just check. Al Alchemy, I'm pretty sure I haven't unlocked any new ones of these, so I don't have to go far to get them. Level 60, level 70, that one will take a while, a while but two level 60s. Speechcraft. Nike's, like I said, she's not a good... She, she's not a good liar. She's not a good, you know... She's not good at talking. She can function, but she's not a smooth talker. She doesn't have a silver tongue. So I think it's okay that we haven't taken too many perks in that one. Kind of fits her character. Wayfarer, there's always more perks we could use. We could increase our movement in the wilds, get our campfires to burn longer. We could improve our lore knowledge, which if we used more than one perk, could... Um, Increase the damage that we deal and decrease the damage that we take from those creatures, but again, we've gone so far along without them that the creatures at the lower rungs are ones that aren't really a threat to us much anymore anyway, so wouldn't it be kind of a waste of a perk, much like enchanting at this point. Uh, illusion. I would love to use Illusion more, but I'm having trouble using it effectively. I, I haven't liked phantom image the couple times that I've used it in combat. I just haven't liked how it's worked for me. Um, restoration. I'd consider taking Apprentice and Adept because I have some 
anti draugr anti undead spells that would be nice to use less magic to cast, but that's a very specific um, usage of those perks, and I don't know how many dungeons of draugr we're going to be diving into. You know, the rest of the LP we're doing uh, civil war. You know, so. So I have to get to 71 for that. Uh, right, so let's do Mage Armor. We know what we're going to do. We're going to do Mage Armor. So now we go from 2.5 times as strong to 3 times as strong. Which is nice. And we are going to do... I guess I should look at Destruction too, even though I don't want to take it. I want to take the uh, Multiple Atronax one. Not much longer till Elemental Ram, which I definitely want to get. Could do another Augmented Shock. And that would be useful against uh, mages, of course. But... Oh, oh do I have another... It's going to be a while till I get another... Oh no! Another Rash Studies will be coming up soon, too. Hmm. So I'll, I'll probably the next time I level up, I'll pr for the next few levels up, I'll probably be putting most of my perks in uh, destruction. Okay, so where did it go? Where was it? This one, right? You can control two lesser Daedra familiars or reanimated dead at the same time. I presume all three Atronax are considered lesser Daedra, so that's awesome. And I wonder what that means then for naming, because I have names for my. Oop. I have Oh, this is the other song that was in the uh, Morrowind Music AM file. And again, I don't know what this song is called or why it was included with that game. That specific game. I, I don't have that game, that song otherwise, and so far no one, no other commenters that own the game of Morrowind have had that song either that they've been able to find. Um... Yeah, I have a name for each one of my Atronachs, and, and throughout the game now I've only called that same Atronach over and over again. Except, of course, when I've done my Twin Blood power, when I've called just a shit ton of them. But uh, I don't know what that means if I'm going to be calling more than one, if I need to have multiple names for them now, or maybe I'm just calling, like, maybe it's just like a Nage clone. That's what, maybe that's what I'll say. So this is what I want to try, because I want to see what's in that room. I don't think I've ever been up there. I want to see if I can cast... Phantom image up there. And... Faint shift, where is it? That's what it's called, right? Oh, it's not favorite, that's right. Faint shift. I should probably try using this every now and then. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I should try illusion more. Just, it's so hard, you know, you got so many spells to use in the first place. Okay, come on, work, baby. Maybe this will work.